Some people think the tropics are just teeming with biting insects. The fact is, they're probably no more in your backyard in the summertime. However, there are some flies that can do some pretty nasty things to people. So it's always good to be prepared. Don't despair. Most flies are harmless to people. However, many visitors come to Costa Rica looking for paradise. Ah, the beach, the warm water, the rum, all of which can be ruined by a few bites. Despite the painful bites of certain species, flies are essential for nature to function properly. In Costa Rica, about 1,300 species of flies have been classified into 100 families. Those tenacious fly experts estimate 20,000 species could inhabit Costa Rica alone. Flies can be distinguished by having a single pair of wings. What happened to the other wings? Well, they evolved into little balancing organs called haltiers. These little jobbies are essential for equilibrium in flight. Coupled with massive flight muscles of the thorax, flies are expert flyers. Their enormous compound eyes give the vision they need to zoom in and out at high speeds. Flies are classified into two major groups based on things like antennae structure. For those that really want to identify flies, you have to go close, really close, and check out their tongues, head spines, and it's vital to memorize the wing venation, which, which will require, require the heavy, heavy use of one, one side, side of your, of your brain. brain. Flies lay their eggs on a variety of substrates. A larva, or maggot, hatches out and begins to eat. The best way to describe a fly larva is gross. No two ways about it. But most of the time you won't be grossed out, since many grow up out of sight in things such as galls. A gall is an abnormal plant growth caused by the sting of a fly or a wasp. The larva develops inside the gall. Carnivorous fly larvae are important in the decomposition of dead animals, like this bat. Ugh. This may not appeal to you, but remember, something has to take care of all that roadkill. The larvae form a pupa, which undergoes metamorphosis, resulting in the adult. Despite the eating habits of their larvae, many flies are beautiful, and they certainly have fascinating behaviors. Honey, if the mosquitoes here are this big, I'm on the next flight home. Crane flies look like giant mosquitoes, but they can't bite you. This crane fly, which mimics a wasp, is inserting its eggs into the soil. Over 14,000 species have been described worldwide, with 90 species from Costa Rica, with possibly 4,000 more to be discovered. They come in all sizes. Sandflies, mothflies, or owlflies are very small flies that inhabit damp areas. In fact, the easiest way to see one is to look in your bathroom. While the bathroom species are just a nuisance, several other species are downright nasty. A whitish species, not shown here, carries cutaneous leishmaniasis, or papillomoya, a disease vectored by the bite of the fly. Leishmaniasis causes a wound that grows and grows and never seems to heal. It eventually does dry, leaving scar tissue that resembles a third-degree burn. Now don't get into a tizzy, because leishmaniasis isn't very common anymore. However, encounters with other species are unavoidable. Ah! 
There are over 200 species of mosquitoes in Costa Rica. It's this long tongue that's such a pain in the ass, or wherever. While mosquitoes transmit many human diseases, dengue fever is the only one of significance in Costa Rica these days, with malaria outbreaks localized in remote areas and yellow fever effectively eliminated. Mosquito eggs, larvae, and pupa all develop in the water, and then the adult emerges out onto the water's surface. The best way to reduce the chance of getting bitten is to remove all containers containing standing water. Bottoms up. Another family of biting flies is the black fly family. Definitely evil. The small drop of blood they leave after the bite is a reminder of the days of itching to come. Fungus gnats like dark, wet places. Fungus, right? Wing venation and antennae size are the key to identification. Some March flies are called love bugs for their aerial exhibitionism. They have short antennae and often a yellow or red thorax. Fungus gnats feed on fungus, thus their name. But some adults like flower nectar and honeydew. No seams come out at dusk to feed on nectar, but the females also suck blood from other insects and of course you in order to lay eggs. The good side is that they pollinate cacao. No flies, no chocolate. Walking into a cloud of these midges might freak you out, but no worries. Midges don't have biting mouth parts. In some places, there are periodic massive emergences of midges, which are impressive, but no fun to clean up. Horse flies, on the other hand, can bite through the toughest skin. Of all the painful bites of insects, a horsefly bite ranks among the worst. Fortunately, they are usually slow and easy to capture, after which even the most peace-loving people are tempted to torture. Remember, it's the female that sucks blood. Males are off feeding on flowers and being cool. While some species of animals love pretty rocks, others are happy with a little salty sweat. <laughs> <laughs>